So it gives them an opportunity to come in and see exhibits that are illustrated with artifacts that tell that story, mm -hmm. but also just to go see artifacts that we've collated. It gives us a great opportunity to showcase recent acquisitions and things that people have just recently donated to us so that we can share them with everybody before they get moved into a permanent storage location there. That will leave us with four more permanent galleries. Uh, one of those galleries will be natural history. Although we've talked a lot about natural history in the staircase there, it's not a place where we can really tell a story about natural history. Right. But our natural history gallery will give us an opportunity to focus on things like Carolina Bays, how yeah. unique they are to this region, uh, the flora and fauna that go along with those, the science behind a hurricane uh, and how that affects our coastline, water right. quality in the Waccamaw and PD rivers. Uh, it's a great di diverse uh, approach to uh, different subject matter in the uh, natural history gallery there. Oh yeah. We'll also have a gallery that focuses on military and political history of Horry County. Mm. So spanning from everything from Peter Horry and Francis Marion and the role that they played along with the soldiers that left this area to go fight right. uh, as early as the revolution and uh, hopefully making this a spot on the South Carolina Francis Marion Trail. Um, moving it on into the Civil War. What happened here and what happened to the boys who left here to fight? Uh, so telling that local story, of course, traveling right on through uh, Spanish-American War, World War I, and of course, the Myrtle Beach Air Force Base and oh, yeah. World War II, leading right on up until its closing uh, during the, uh, uh, early 90s. Uh, the early 90s there. Right. Uh, and of course, the uh, 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 Desert Storm uh, right. operation there. So uh, that gives us a chance to, to cover and encompass the entire military history and the role that Horry County has played, and, and most importantly, the role the people from Horry County have played in those uh, uh, conflicts. How exciting, Walter. It'll give us an opportunity then to move into uh, two more galleries. Okay. One will be uh, uh, agriculture and industry, so focusing on turpentine, timber, and tobacco. Uh, the railroad coming to Horry County, mm -hmm. steam travel in Horry County, the different communities who developed because of this agriculture and industry, leading right. all this into the last gallery, which would be the grand strand of the 20th century, tourism, uh, right. how Horry County got put on the map, what we've become known as, mm -hmm. so the Pavilion, Burroughs and Chapin Company, uh, right. Coastal Carolina University and Horry yeah. Georgetown Tech, right. uh, Atlantic Beach, mm -hmm. uh, the campgrounds, what we've become shaped as now and how we're representing the world and those evolutions into modern age there. That is tremendous. So our goal is to be able to tell the whole story all in one component there, uh, at, all at one time. So right. a visitor can come here and really kind of get experience of everything prior to, to colonial occupation, uh, right on uh, what types of plants and animals are in here, and what sort of cultural influences Horry County has made throughout the ages. I there. love it, Walter. Well, I hate to say we're running uh, tight on time, and I know there's a number of questions that I really want to get into. That's a tremendous uh, overview of what's to come down at the uh, the old borough school there. You said on the corner of 9th and Main. Corner of 9th and Main, yes. Sir. Okay, how is this being funded? Is this entirely, is it pre-funded? Do you have all the funds already? Uh, to finish all of what you've just laid out? Uh, no, not entirely. This is being funded two different ways. Okay. Because Horry County Museum is a department of Horry County government, right. uh, the renovation part of the historical borough school is being funded and has been funded through Horry County Council. Great. The funding to build and design and install exhibits into this building for the public is being funded through private and public donations from uh, the Horry County Museum Foundation. Okay. Uh, you're very intimate with Dr. Hal Holmes and the well, Holmes family. Right. Uh, Dr. Holmes is the president of that uh, organization who has led us in the uh, fundraising efforts so far to bringing money into uh, the foundation so that it can be contributed towards this project. That is tremendous. Well, the foundation's got a, a, a lot going on then. They, they really do. They really have. They've been working very hard uh, over the past few years to achieve uh, a goal that uh, we've all set pretty high and, and, and have been having great success with it so far. And that goal is? Uh, our goal is $3 million goal. Okay. Uh, we are well on our, on our way to that uh, through uh, active con contributions and pledges. Yeah. Is there a way that viewers could help? What could a viewer do to be involved to really make that happen to help wrap up the campaign? Well, we'd love to have the public, again, it is a public campaign for raising money there. So uh, we'd love to have them involved in uh, naming opportunities in the museum there. Okay. We are working on a brick campaign for a walkway out there. Great. We have naming opportunities on auditorium seating uh, in there because, of course, the auditorium is going to be part of this as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, of course, 
we are selling some uh, recovered souvenir bricks from the historical uh, Burroughs School. Those right. are available now at okay. both the Horry County Museum and the L.W. Paul Living History Farm. $20 a piece for uh, a brick from the, from the building with an engraved plaque stating that. Uh, a keepsake for those folks who have uh, uh, a, a past relationship with that building. Absolutely, that's tremendous. Well, Jack Thompson was actually with us a couple of months ago over at Conway Medical mm -hmm. Center and highlighted the sale of bricks. Now, those are yeah. different bricks. Those are actually not the bricks. Is that right? Those, those are the bricks we're talking about here that okay. are souvenir bricks. Okay. Uh, later, we're hoping to uh, step into a brick naming campaign where you'll actually be able to purchase a brick with a name engraved on it that will be a permanent part of the walkway in the Burroughs School. Area. Right, right. How about for viewers, we just got a couple of minutes, Walter, for viewers who may not only love to come visit the museum, but are there volunteer opportunities here at the Horry County Museum? Definitely volunteer opportunities, and they range from anything from helping out at the front desk, helping with education programs, to working with collections and, and, and uh, uh, school groups, uh, to interpreting at the Living History Farm, or helping plow and plant. So uh, we depend on volunteers. We have got a great working Friends of the Horry County Museum group. Uh, we always say that we've got something for anybody. Uh, so if you have an interest in the museum, uh, we'll help you fill your personal interest, fill the niche that you're most interested in, uh, what you're most compatible with, and what you're physically willing to do uh, as far as time uh, and, and efforts go there. Walter, you mentioned the Living History Museum. You mentioned plow and plant, volunteer opportunities to plow and plant. That did not sound indicative of what they could <laughs> find here at the former post office, the old post office building. Larry Paul's going to be with us on Thursday to talk about the L.W. Paul Living History a Farm, the museum, the extension of the museum out uh, not far from here. But for viewers who may not have a chance to catch him on Thursday, what are you talking about? Well, uh, the Horry County or L.W. Paul Living History Farm is the newest branch of the Horry County Museum. Uh, we opened in November of 2009. Uh, that is a recreation of a 1900 to 1955 one-horse family farm, right. including community structures and, and buildings out there. So on our big event days, and our next large event will be April the 2nd. It will oh, be our right. spring planning. Okay. So we encourage the public to come out and join in on that. We'll have cooking demonstrations on the wood stove, making live soap, smokehouse demonstrations, grinding grits, uh, blacksmithing, uh, all this as well as plowing with the mules, setting our tobacco and our garden crop out there, and doing what would be happening on a farm during this time of year. Uh, visitors are welcome out there 9 to 4, okay. Tuesday through Saturday. Right. Uh, the admission is free out there, same as the museum here. We're still free to the public. Uh, all free? Take That's all one of the things I had, I, I had no idea that uh, this is all free. Yes, sir. Uh, this is, again, funded through Horry County uh, Council. Oh, yes. And uh, this is a, a service that we provide to the community for free. That is tremendous, Walter. I'm sorry we've run out of time, but thanks so much for yes, being sir. with us this morning. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Stay tuned to a little more with Walter Hill, the director of the Horry County Museum. Coming up next. It's not open seven days a week, but it's open today, Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5. Take the time to come here to the corner of 5th and Main. It's a special place. You can also get out to the L.W. Paul Living History Farm and experience the Horry County Museum in action. If you've got internet access, take the time to go online to orycountymuseum.org, orycountymuseum.org. Tremendous information there. You can see the mission statement. You can see info about the farm, about fundraising opportunities, about the friends of the Horry County Museum. And in one very important way, you can see about other volunteer opportunities that Walter may not have had a chance to highlight. And there are a lot of them, whether it's the education programs, the collections or the exhibits are going on year round. The opportunity for you is to be a part of that tremendous mission statement of preserving, protecting, and educating the public on the prehistory, history, and natural history of Horry County. Didn't you get a sense of it sitting here with Walter? It was very special. Walter, thanks again for being with us this morning. Thank you.